This was a battle between two teams desperately searching for top gear. Mines coach Sandro Schwarz was hoping to celebrate his new contract with a win after a run of three straight defeats. Schalke were hoping to bounce back from their Champions League defeat to Manchester City. Mainz had lost their last five Bundesliga clashes with Schalke without scoring a single goal. But after 18 minutes, former Schalke player Danny Latzer won possession and teed up Kareem on his Sivo. A forceful finish, bringing him his third league goal of the season. Mainz's energetic pressing caused Schalke all kinds of problems. It could have been 2-0 on 27 minutes. Jean-Paul Boetius aimed for the far corner, but the Dutchman pulled his effort wide. Schalke had taken just two points from their last four games and lacked rhythm. Their best first-half chance fell to Matija Nastasic. The defender is still looking for his first Bundesliga goal. 1-0 Mainz at half-time, and in carnival season, their fans were in the party mood. The hosts kept the pressure on. Ten minutes after the break, Giulio Donati's floated cross found Anthony Uja. Returning keeper Alexander Nubel was well-placed. Mainz were outstanding in the second half, defending diligently and breaking with pace and purpose. On 73 minutes, Aaron Martins' cross took a crucial deflection and the ball fell perfectly for Jean-Philippe Mateta. The Frenchman playing the role of super sub to perfection to score his seventh league goal of the season. By this stage, Schalke had completely run out of ideas and Mainz rubbed salt into their wounds on 84 minutes as Onisivo completed his first ever Bundesliga brace. Onisivo given a rare start, he took full advantage. A superb victory for Mainz, a crushing defeat for Schalke who have their worst points tally after 23 games since 1983.